Upcoming Season 20 in Economic Balancing Adjustments. Key Points. Adventure Mode SLP will be sunset, reduced to zero. This includes rewards for first-time completion. Daily Quest SLP will be sunset, reduced to zero. Arena reward structure will be changed dramatically. Reduced SLP rewards and AXS leaderboard massively expanded. Sub 800 MMR players will now earn 1 SLP per win. We want to be considerate for players with weaker axes so we're adding this back in, for now. We are considering reworking the energy system to scale more linearly, making additional energy more accessible and boosting demand for weaker axes. Season 20 is close and when it's released, a variety of important economic balancing changes will be implemented. On January 4th, we released a dev journal, economic balancing post with three goals, to create a framework for community dialogue around economic balancing, to prepare the community for upcoming economic changes, and most importantly to seek community input. As we discussed in that post, inflation of SLP has been very high, with around 4x more SLP being created, supplied, per day than burned, demanded, through breeding. As we are building more burn mechanisms, see below, we are also looking at where we can strategically reduce issuance in order to balance the economy. Elimination of Adventure Mode and Daily Quest Rewards Let's start with a brief review of the recent mint rates within the current battle's experience. In short, roughly 40% of SLP is created from Adventure Mode, roughly 44% of SLP is created from PvP, and the remainder, 14%, is minted from players claiming the daily quest. We can see that adventure mode and PvP receive roughly equivalent rewards. This does not line up with the principles that will make Axie succeed. Namely, in-game rewards should be used to incentivize social activities that improve the ecosystem. In-game rewards must be earned as a result of skilled activity in the ecosystem. Only by adhering to these principles, can we work towards a future, where in-game tokens have real value. As a first measure to stabilize the economy, we have removed the 50 SLP that can be earned from Adventure Mode each day. This alone will remove around 130 MSLP per day, revamp PvP reward structure. Even after these changes, we are still left with a situation where PvP Mode is generating roughly double the amount of SLP that's burned per day. Is there a way to address this as well? Let's look at the Arena Leaderboard and the Pillar of Axie Infinity, AXS. In Season 19, we distributed around 3,000 day access to the top 1,000 players on the leaderboard. This is a paltry amount compared to the 1.5 meters AXS that's distributed to stackers each month and the millions of AXS per quarter that's available in the gaming budget allocation. This was purposeful in the past as we've always felt that the AXS allocations should be reserved for when our game is more polished and ready for mainstream adoption. However, we believe these current circumstances require decisive action. In addition, we will be adding back 1 SLP per win for players under 800 MMR. This will bring some utility to weaker axes, and encourage players to practice, even if they're still learning, or having difficulty with the game. Advancements with our bot detection system, as well as reduced earnings for bots have also made reintroduction of these rewards possible. 0, 999 1 SLP per win. 1000 to 1099 3 SLP per win, 1100 to 1299 6, 5 SLP per win, rank default, 1300 to 1499 9, 6 SLP per win, 1500 to 1799 12, 8 SLP per win, 1800 1999 15, 10 SLP per win, 2000 plus 18, 12 SLP per win, increasing burn. As we discussed in last month's dev update, long term, we will need to bring a variety of fun burn mechanisms and economic sinks to the table. This comprehensive approach includes special cosmetics and skins, upgraded Axe body parts, in game emojis, breeding events, buying tournaments, Axe naming, and more. For example, one of the upcoming token sinks that will be introduced through Origin is a system of crafting tokenized power. Ups that augment and strengthen your axes. Some players may also be wondering why we haven't released vertical progression for your axes. This is a good question. As axie owners ourselves, we've been patiently waiting since 2018 for axie upgrading as well. Put simply, we've prioritized growth and onboarding millions. Without this approach, it's likely that axie would have remained a small, 
niche game with a few thousand players. While that's great for many projects, our aspiration is to onboard over a billion gamers into Web3 and change the internet forever. For example, one of the upcoming token sinks that will be introduced through Origin is a system of crafting tokenized power, ups that augment and strengthen your axes. Some players may also be wondering why we haven't released vertical progression for your axes. This is a good question. As Axie owners ourselves, we've been patiently waiting since 2018 for Axie upgrading as well. Put simply, we've prioritized growth and onboarding millions. Without this approach, it's likely that Axie would have remained a small, niche game with a few thousand players. While that's great for many projects, our aspiration is to onboard over a billion gamers into Web3 and change the internet forever. The future. We believe that these economic changes will allow us to start riding the ship and getting the economy moving in the right direction. We know that it will be key to execute on delivering new burn mechanisms this year. These issuance reductions will not be enough to get our economic engine back to full strength, but they are a needed step as we build towards a fully functioning and sustainable economy. When Origin is released, it will be very important for us to share a roadmap of the coming features and economic sinks that will be added as we iterate quickly on the game.